GH Spoilers Wednesday, May 10. Truth Bombs. Desperation. Quartermain Wars. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. General Hospital News. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. I am your friend Cameron. Let's start. General Hospital, GH. Spoilers for Wednesday. May 10 T's Truth Bombs. Desperation and Quartermain Wars. Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy. Wants a truth bomb. Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms. Reaches out in desperation. And Drew Keynes, Cameron Matheson. Ready for a Quartermain War. On their way home from Greenland in the WSB plane, Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, tells Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, he will be his brother's guardian. There is no way he will allow Esme Prince, Avery Kristen Pohl, to have custody of Ace Prince Cassidine, Joey and Jay Clay. He's letting his Cassidine show when he is determined not to let Esme have any part in her own son's life. Just like Nicholas Cassidine. Adam Huss. It was an argument over who would raise Ace that led to a falling out between Nicholas and Spencer, but now Spencer's the only Cassidine with a horse in this race. This puts Laura Collins, Jeannie Francis, in the middle of a custody battle again since Esme is living with her and Kevin Collins. John Lindstrom. At Robert Scorpios, Tristan Rogers. Office. Diane Miller just walked in on a passionate kiss between Robert and his ex-wife Holly Sutton, Emma Sams, who wants him back. Robert again is between a rock and a hard place, torn between one of the loves of his past and a potential love in his present. Diane and Robert had been ready to celebrate with a couple of flutes of champagne until she was called to step up for Drew with the SEC agents. In the meantime, however, Holly had shown up with updates from what happened in Greenland and told Robert she wanted him back. They were mid-clinch when Diane showed up at the door. Diane tells Robert she'll settle for the truth also on the plane Port Charles bound from Greenland. Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, talks to Laura about her conundrum. The subject of conversation might be Ace, and who gets him as Curtis asks if she's speaking for Spencer and Trina, or speaking for herself. Laura looks very worried as Curtis is asking her that question because she knows already there will be conflict. Before the kidnappings, Spencer, Esme, Ace and Charlotte Cassidine, Anna Sophia Bianchi, were all living with Laura and Kevin, and Esme is Kevin's niece. That sets Laura up for one big conflicted household, and Kevin, for a lot of interfamily therapy at Maxie's apartment. She reaches out in desperation to her mother, Felicia Scorpio, Christina Wagner. She obviously has found out some deep, deep problems with deception cosmetics, and cries the future of her company is at stake. She may have discovered the company is broke, which would be thanks to Gladys Corbin, Bonnie Burroughs, and her gambling problems. At least apparently Lucy Co. Lynn Herring, hasn't found out, or the future of Maxie's mental health, might be at stake Maxie's not the only one begging for support of a kind as Ned Quartermain. Wally Kurth is begging Olivia Quartermain, Lisa Lo Cicero, to believe him. He just got decked by a furious Drew, who had come straight from being questioned by SEC agents. He, like everyone else, believes only Ned could be responsible for the anonymous whistleblower call to the SEC. And Ned has his past behavior to thank for that and continues to plead his innocence as Olivia looks at him stubbornly. Who else would have had a motive to do something like that? Edward Quartermains. John Ingle. Been dead for several years elsewhere, Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, talks to a smiling Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, whose financial guardianship apparently has come to an end. That means she's financially emancipated, and Carly verifies to her that means she doesn't need a guardian. Little does Sasha know what Gladys has been doing behind her back. If she looks into the books and her personal finances, she'll be in for a shock. Maxie probably doesn't want to have to break it to her. Sasha has been through so much. Back at the Quartermain mansion, Drew and Ned continue to argue as Brooklyn Quartermain. Amanda Seton puts a hand on Drew's shoulder for support. Drew is furious as he tells Ned if it's a war he wants, it's a war he's going to get. It's not just himself and his future Drew is concerned with, it's Carly's and Scout Kane's. Cosette Abenante. 2. Everyone knows Ned is the one with the motive. 
means an opportunity to have pulled such a stunt, and even his own mother said bravo. Obviously, Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, would have done the same thing. Be sure to catch up on everything happening with GH right now. Come back here often for general hospital spoilers, news, and updates. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with USA.